The calls for a state lawmaker to resign are not only loud tonight, they're also bipartisan. But Representative John Thompson's lawyer told WCCO today he does not plan to step down. David Schumann joining us here to explain how this all came about. Yeah, well, Susan Elizabeth, we've confirmed today that Thompson has a history of alleged domestic violence. Reading through police reports that date back as far as the early 2000s, some of the things he's accused of display a disturbing pattern. DFL State Representative John Thompson appears to be standing alone among his colleagues. His party's chairman has called on him to resign immediately, as have Governor Tim Walz and Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan. All three reference allegations against Thompson of violence against women. We found two cases in the mid-2000s of Thompson being charged with domestic assault. He was not convicted of either charge. One of those cases took place in Egan. His girlfriend told police he punched her face, threatened to kill her daughter, and choked her, saying, I'll choke you until you can't breathe anymore. A Wisconsin police report from 2003 says the same woman told officers Thompson punched her in front of her five-year-old daughter before fleeing the scene and resisting arrest. Records from St. Paul police show in 2009, a 911 caller said two women were being assaulted by a man, and the man was exposing his genitals to children. Thompson answered the door and was arrested for domestic assault, but the county attorney didn't file charges. In 2010, a woman told St. Paul police Thompson grabbed her around the neck with both hands and applied pressure, stating, I'll choke you until your voice box stops. The report says the county attorney declined that case because of a delayed 911 call, poor witness info, and the victim saying she doesn't remember who attacked first. To all of these allegations, Thompson's attorney told me they are false and re-emphasized Thompson hasn't been found guilty on any domestic violence charges. He also said Thompson doesn't plan to resign. That list of politicians calling for Thompson to resign continues on and includes the Minnesota House Speaker, the House Majority and Minority Leaders, and U.S. Congress Representative Betty McCollum. Okay, well, we know the story is going to continue to develop. We are so. going to continue to follow this. Perfect. Thank you, David.